Wait, it's motive. It's like a real thing. It's like a thing in court. It's motive. And that's what we're about. Like, we're, we're trying to... We want to know why. Like, it doesn't mean that we think it makes sense or we are making an excuse for that person. It just means, like, why? Like, how can you not think why? Mm -hmm. So you saw what I saw, and it seemed like people were trying to say that... Um, that I was trying to blame it, I guess, on the dad, or maybe say that the kid deserved what they got. Like, how do, how do people hear what I say and that's what they got out of it? How is that even possible? I don't even know. I, I can't, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's, it's kinda, it is a little disturbing that that is how people think, that like, cause that's what our whole channel is about. We're like honoring these kids. And so how can you think that like, and you're super hard on people who hurt kids, so I don't know why anybody would ever think that you'd be trying to, like, make an excuse or say some, like, like align some reason for why poor Cannon should not be here with us now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I say, sometimes it can get a little bit depressing, a little bit overwhelming for me sometimes, because I feel like I have the exact same stance as I did three years ago as I do today. And uh, matter of fact, I don't know if y'all watched that little short 10 minute video that I posted of a video of a uh, commentary that I did about two years ago. If y'all haven't watched. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, it's like clearly you could tell it was old. I even showed, um, I even time stamped the date on it at the end of it. And really just to get people to kind of understand um, that actually the reason I posted that was because it was actually from a viral video. That video that it came from is actually over 300,000 views. Okay. It was a viral video, and all I did was I just clipped out what I thought was one of the more uh, more um, polarizing things that I said in that entire commentary. And I just thought that, you know, if people hadn't seen it, then maybe they wanted to hear that part. And it just seemed like people didn't receive that well at all. Oh, my God, you're going off on that woman and this and that. I'm like, maybe y'all didn't catch the headline of that story, but they killed a kid. Like actually, burned, they killed. Right? They killed. Yeah, they killed and burned a girl and her father. Yeah, I was. I was up in the comment section of that particular video arguing with people. I don't even know why I argue with them sometimes, honestly, because it's like, why even waste my breath on this person? But it, I just get so annoyed and like frustrated and like how it's not that hard of a message to get like we're here to help kids we're here to to prevent violence like and why did why is people make it more complex than that but it's not more complex like we're just here to help kids mm -hmm. yep. so they, they get lost as you say like they get lost in the message and somehow get so far away from what we're actually doing that it's like, I don't even know what journey took them so far away, but that's where they are. Mm -hmm. So what are your thoughts on this uh, particular story? Well, I'm curious to, on a uh, Southern girl's comment, do you think that drugs or drug activity could some could be involved in like a retaliation or something like that? Mm, you tell me what you think. I, I, yeah, I can't, I can't say, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know. But maybe, I don't know. I don't want to say too much about the dad as he's not really come out and said anything himself. You know, I, I certainly don't want to, like, make it harder for him because maybe he just didn't say something because he is so hurt. But then at the same time, like, as you said, if he had said something, like, if he had just said, like, uh, this guy's psycho. He just shot my kid, and it was random. Like with the guy's history and everything else, I I would tend to go with that. But then when he's silent, it's like you just it just kind of leaves a space where you're just kind of wondering. And there is so many questions. Like obviously, there's something we don't know. I really don't think that this was just like. Sorry about it's that. Just random. But here I have a couple of questions. I'm gonna have to take this phone away from this microphone. So, um, here's, here's my thing. First of all, can you address the dinner that they had the day before this happened? 
He had, they had just shared dinner with this with this thug dude at their house. Right. Well, address that. What are your thoughts on that? Well, like, how do you? Why? Like, why was he at dinner? How well do you know him? Like, did something happen at dinner? Uh, uh like, I, I I would like to know the connection between having dinner and then the next day, maybe there was some kind of an exchange at dinner, whether drugs were related or not, I don't know, but it just, there's there's something not right. I, Gaps. Yeah, like I said, I think there are a lot of yellow flags and red flags that start popping up. Second thing, do you, because somebody posted it in the chat, do you think this should be classified as a race hate crime? Uh, no, I don't, I don't see why. I mean, unless we get some kind of, see my, I'm not really into the whole hate crime thing. Personally, I think all crime is hateful. Mm -hmm. Um, I know that a lot of people would disagree with me there. That's just my opinion. Um, but without some kind of information that says he did this because this kid was white or whatever, um, it, I don't think we could call it a hate crime without some kind of we just don't, we don't know anything. I think if we're going to call anything a hate crime and be charging, really, it only applies to white people, I guess. But, um, and they, and they haven't only, like, I mean, the, the majority of it, I would say 99.9% .9 of all hate crimes have been because they've labeled them as hate crimes, uh, by way of white people. There have been at least one that I know of where, a, no, there were two stories where black people were charged with hate crimes. One was when they took that uh, that mentally challenged person and kidnapped him. You remember that one? No. You got to look that up. That that was that was a crazy story. And then there was also the one where the black woman had attacked a um an elderly white man for no reason, and 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 she yelled some obscenities at him. And that one was classified as a hate crime. But I don't think that it happens enough if we're gonna call that, like if we're gonna have a law like that, I think it should be fair, but here's the crazy part about it, is people are always making it seem like, like, you know, black people are the victims when they're really not. They're really more perpetrators than they are victims. I'm gonna throw that out there and let y'all know that. I'm gonna say it again so y'all understand what I just said. Black people are not these victims that they're made out to be. They are more perpetrators than they are victims. As a whole, hashtag not all. Boy, I gotta say that two more times for the dummies in the back. Hashtag not all, hashtag not all black people. God damn. <laughs> it's gotta always throw that not out there. all. You guys. You can't everybody always try to it's it's always not all. It's always hashtag not all. Man, I'm going to tell you, I got into a depressing argument with a friend of mine, and I, that friend of, the, of mine knows who they are. Sitting there trying to have a conversation with this person, and they're just like, you can't say it's all. You can't say it's all. And I'm like, it's never all. Like, nothing is all. Like, like let, let's just take that off the table. It's never going to be all. You like, I'm sorry, but I thought we were intelligent people. I really did. You've never said that. I've never, ever heard you say all, ever. But like I said, if we're going to say that this is not a hate crime, then there should be no such thing as a hate crime, period. The terminology is stupid. I think that they need to set appropriate punishments for the crimes that are committed. I think it's it's a simple thing that, that should... We, we, the system can get so complicated with putting so much minutia and bullshit out there that I think we really need to go back to simple things and basic things. Right. Crime is crime. Just like when they say black on black crime, the only reason we say that is just to specify the fact that we seem to have a lot of self hate for ourselves in the black community when we perpetuate a lot of the crimes on ourselves. Right. We're more worried about talking about what police do to us as opposed to what we do to us, which is on a scale of like, 10,000, 10, 50,000 to one. Right. Literally. I mean, if, if, should it, should Actually, you know what? I'm sorry. I, I, I lied. I lied, Addie. It's actually way, it's actually a way bigger number than that, but go ahead. Sorry, Jay. It's a uh, way, it's a way bigger number than that. 
if a hate crime, like, is, is killing your children not a hate crime? Is killing a child because they're a child not a hate crime? Like, what would be more hateful than killing a child? But that's never considered a hate crime if you're killing someone just because they're a child. I mean, that's... it. You, you can go so deep into that. Like, because I'm in a wheelchair, should every crime anybody commits against me be a hate crime because I'm disabled? No. It's just a crime. It's just... I don't, I don't get the whole hate crime deal and if we're gonna have a hate crime i think it should be a hate crime to kill a child just because they're a child or kill a child just because you don't like the other parent or whatever your excuse is like mm-hmm. yeah yep i agree man and um and like i said that's why i like the fact that texas has a special law or special provisions that actually um go a little bit harder on criminals with the super aggravated laws that um right. that that are a little bit more harsh on people that hurt children, and I like that, and I think that more states need to adopt things like that to make it harder on people to be around kids that prove to be a danger to kids, and if they do bad things to kids, then they should absolutely be judged way more harsh than a grown adult. Now, right, because they cannot protect themselves, mm-hmm. right? Like. <laughs> And all states should have that. And y'all got to remember, like, with hate crimes and stuff, like, when they when they go through the hate crime thing and they're trying to, like, decide what is a hate crime and not a hate crime and how to put, like, the language into the actual laws, like, that costs money. That takes time. Why not spend that time making the laws stronger for our babies so that they don't hurt rather than, like, just messing with a bunch of grown folk shit? Like... Mm-hmm. I don't get it, man. Almond Brown, you're on the line. Talk to us. What's happening? What you think? What's up, girl? It's, hey, hey, Ali. I just, I just don't understand this. They have too many holes in this story. What's going on here? It's so many. It's why is like the hugest question. What happened? I mean, you have this. Clearly, he looks so unstable. Guy, go up and shoot this neighbor. He, like you say, he just had dinner with the family go up and shoot the boy in in his head in front of his sisters what there's so many things wrong with this picture what happened they're not it, it's aggravating to me because they're leaving so much out it's like y'all are just this is what happened it's like oops <laughs> give us your hypothesis here's what happened the headline reads executed uh canon hennett uh five years old was executed at point blank range by a criminal thug while playing outside. My question to you is how do we get to the point of we're having dinner one day and the next day we're shooting a baby? How, what, what, what is your speculation? There has to be something in your head that says, okay, this is what I believe caused this. What do you think? Uh, that there, there has to be something. Daddy did something or something. Or this, just like what, well, because <laughs> you can't allow somebody that crazy if that person is that crazy to be around your child if you think there's something wrong with him why would you It nothing adds up it, it doesn't add up to me it just seems it, it, it doesn't make sense what do you what, if they if they had a verbal a verbal altercation about something a verbal spat what do you think it, it could have been over oh to, to kill his child like that, it, it had to be something. Because I want you to it remember, to I want you to remember what the thug dealt in. The thug dealt in that he was con- he was convicted of felony larceny of firearms, uh, misdemeanor maintaining a place for a controlled substance, and felony mm-hmm. marijuana possession. That's just what's on his record. Wow. So it could it could it seems like it could go deep, but at the same time, if you have a problem with the parent why go after the child i mean he could have he could have went up and shot the, the father in the head if that was the issue why are you gonna it had to it had to be something that cut deep like that for you to kill somebody's child mm-hmm. that 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 amazes me if you have a problem with the daddy you take it up with the daddy you don't you don't that innocent child had nothing to do with it he had nothing to do with it yep. nothing Addy. It's, it's, yeah, like, sorry, Uh-oh. I got distracted. Um, 
And, and yeah, hold on, it's... hold on. Let me say this real quick. Almond, I, I know you just dropped off. If you if you hop back in, I'll add you back in. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead, Addie. Um. Yeah. It, see, it's too specific to be arbitrary completely. They had to been fighting over either drugs or pussy or guns. Yeah. One of those. It had to be for sure. It had to be something. <laughs> it had to be something deep like that to to go after the child. He did something to that man to set him off. Something happened to set him off. Because you can't just go for, oh, we're having dinner the next day, pa, and taking the kid out of here. Well, and we're canon and not the sisters. That part's odd. Ooh, say that again. Say that again, Addie. Can you hear me? Hey. Why Cannon and not the sisters? Yeah, can you hear me? Go go ahead, yeah. You hear me? Um, why Cannon and not the sisters? You know, they're right there. Exactly. It's Exactly. Why not all three or Mm, that's a good question. There's so many questions in this story though. There's so many unanswered questions. Too many. Let me point out something, and again, this is our the hypocrisy in our in our society. I'm gonna point out something that Keyshawn said. She said, "Why the uh, why the hell befriend? Uh, why the hell uh, befriend uh, or invite uh, inside home? Uh, oh, I think she might have wrote that wrong a little bit. Home around your loved ones. The man was a criminal." Uh, Dan was the family thirsty for company. It's still Corona season, you know, COVID-19. So imagine with all of this social distancing, he probably didn't invite him over. He probably didn't have no mask on. This stuff is going rampant and just anybody you're around, you can get COVID from. So like, I thought we were supposed to be social distancing, right? Exactly. Yeah, good point. It's, I don't know, so, like, so, honestly, so like, apparent, as a younger person, like... So, apparently, I guess social distancing don't apply if these people are your neighbors, huh? I guess you can't, exactly. I guess you can't get it if it's your neighbor, huh? <laughs> or if you want drugs, that, that makes social distancing completely That's another unsupported. thing, too. That's another thing, too. That's a big thing. That could be a part of it. Hmm. It's... Honestly, like as like I'm I'm kind of old, right? But I'm still pretty young. Like as a younger person, like we kind of don't really do dinner parties that much. Like that's just not a thing that happens a lot in like young poor people's lives. So like I don't know it. It's it's strange. I don't know. And and like how many times was he over there other than just that dinner? I wonder. Like how well did he know Cannon? Mm -hmm. it, seems like they knew each other. it seems like they knew each other pretty well though to come over for dinner you don't have anybody over your house for dinner facts like, uh, facts i don't know some of my neighbors i mm, i'm not gonna have you in my house mm. so you're not just gonna have invite anybody in your house so what's really going on what's really hood let me say this real quick uh candy cox if you could hear me Click that link that I just tagged your name in. Click that link, and on your device, you should be able to come in, and I'll and I'll see you pop up. You just type in a name. Make sure that that green line that says your microphone. Make sure that it's moving, because if it's not, then you have to select a microphone on the device that you're using. And then once that green line is moving, hit uh, join the uh, broadcast, and I'll let you in. So. I'll give you a few minutes to be able to do that. Not only because she donated, but I think we can definitely wait to hear uh, one more opinion, especially for those who donate. So I definitely I don't, like definitely don't mind. But I'm interested to hear what Almond thinks about the person in the chat who was saying that we were like making excuses um, for the that, murderer. That was just crazy. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was just crazy. Oh, Make yeah. No way making excuses for the I, I didn't under, I didn't understand that one. I was like, oh. <laughs> there's no way we were making excuses for him. No way. But it's crazy. I, that one out there took me, I was just like, took me off guard for a second. I was like, hold up, when did that happen? 
<laughs> right. Oh, and by the way, happy belated birthday, Jay. Oh, thank you. Very, thank you very much. I appreciate that. No problem. <laughs> Did you have a good day yesterday, man? You seem like just a little bit bummed out today. Mm, no, I had a great day. That's awesome. Yep, I had a great day. Let me see. Hold on. I'm trying to tag somebody else's name. We got, uh, is that Candy Cox? Hey, what's up, Candy Cox? Hey, Candy. What's up, Candy? What's up with you? I don't know if you saw what I wrote. And, you know, I don't really like to say any ugly words. But I typed in the fact that he, in that, in that picture that was in my there. It's a little bit hard to hear you. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. Is that any better? Are you using uh, headphones or a Bluetooth? I don't think the Bluetooth's on. I know. Or you no. just might have to just talk and talk directly into the mic. But uh, go ahead. Yeah, yeah but... you gotta just like project a little bit. Well, I have a lot of throat problems and I just don't really talk very loud okay. at all. Okay, go ahead. We, we can hear you. Go ahead. You're all right. We can hear you. But anyway, I put up there in that mount, that picture that he looked like he was, and excuse my language, fucked up as a football bat. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> I, don't, I, I just think he was on drugs and he didn't really give a damn what he was doing. Mm, yeah. And it's shocking to me that it was in Wilson, North Carolina, which is only like 30 minutes from my house. And I have, not, I have not heard a word about it until you said something about it. Mm, wow. So it hadn't got as much coverage as I thought it did, huh? No. I have not heard one word. And like I said, I live about 30 minutes from there, if that far. That's sad. It's sad. Because you would think somebody that lives this close would hear something, you know? Right. And if I had of, I would have sent it to Jay myself. But no, nothing. Mm. Wow. And that's a shame. Now, let me say this. Um, and, and I think that sucks the fact that it's so many people that said that this hasn't really been a widespread news story. But let me say this, because people have been mentioning drugs. We speculate drugs because that's usually the type of this fits the narrative. It sounds like a drug type thing. But um, we have somebody in the chat who believes that like they might actually know specifically what it was over. So what I did, if that person wants to hop on here and click that link that I reposted in the chat, I'll repost it a few more times. If you would hop on here, you can make up whatever name you want to and just hop on. If you mm -hmm. feel like, if you know for certain uh, what this was over, then, then hit that link, hop on here real quick. Like I said, I know the name that I'm looking for. I'm not gonna call it out or anything. So that way, you know, I always, you know, if people wanna remain anonymous, I'll leave you anonymous. I'm not gonna, you know, blast you out or nothing like that just because you want to give your opinion about something. So I'm going to uh, post that link in there a few more times. So you said, sure. Please do hop on here. Yep. So, yeah. So like I said, we'll give you a few more minutes. We'll let you hop on here. Let me do this real quick. Let me let me go down the line real quick and let you guys speak while we are waiting on that person to hop on. Uh, Candy Cox, you want to give uh, more of your thoughts about this? Even maybe to uh, speak on the criminal history of this dude, speak on the dinner speak on how random this is that he would target one kid not the others not the dad what well, that really is random especially when he went over there and had supper with them um you know uh had interaction with the entire family and the child so i don't see that he would you know, I don't see how he could be upset, especially with a child. Mm -hmm. I kept my six-month-old granddaughter today for the first time. I'm and is heavy as I don't know what. But 
I'm going to tell you, if anybody ever tried to hurt her, I'll go. Okay, we got Giovanna on the line. Giovanna, you want to give your thoughts? Yes, I want to say happy belated birthday. Thank you so much. And also, just to speak a little bit on what I observed, um, I noticed just a lot of similarities with a lot of the cases with the dads. It seems as though they have these brief um, interactions with their children and all of a sudden something happens and then the dads are silent. Yeah, that's a good mm. point. True. Kind of like the walk-by shooting. Remember the walk-by a few days ago? Yeah, the twins on the couch. Right. And there, again, another scenario where dad is in, around, um, but mute. Right. Oh, hello. And it's a shooting, oh. too. It's like a random shooting of an innocent kid doing nothing. Okay, we got one more person on the line here. Uh, you want to you introduce yourself or tell us what you think about the story? The last person, Is it me? The last person I just a added on there because I, I couldn't read your name. So what, what would you like to say? But can you hear me? Yes. Oh, uh, I was just saying like, um, my, they smoke and bomb and flu. It's a really look, small town. Like Wilson is a small town and all the people out there do drugs. Like they, I've been going there since I was a kid and they've been doing drugs with people my age. I'm 29. They do, they pop all types of pills. They smoke all types of, they smoke embalming fluid out there. They've been smoking, it's like people that been smoking embalming fluid since I was in middle school. Like middle school has been smoking that. So wow. the story I heard is that he was high, basically. I also heard a different story that um, he wasn't even trying to shoot the little boy, that he was shooting at somebody else. Huh? And he and the guy mm -hmm. used the boy as a shield, but I wasn't there. These are just oh, the stories no. that I'm hearing. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I need you to say that again. Make sure you speak into the mic. <laughs> say that again, <laughs> please. Go ahead. Yeah, I heard one story was that he was actually shooting at a whole different person, and the guy used the little boy as a shield so that he wouldn't get shot. Oh, so, okay, so it didn't have nothing to do with the dad at all then. I, yeah, I, I've heard nothing about that it was about the family. Mm. I've heard, but I do, I do know for a fact that he smokes that, like, he'd be high. <laughs> okay, so, so like, let, let you're me, hearing this just around town? Yeah. So let okay. me, let me, let me say this, because that actually makes sense if you think about it. Because yeah. I said, I said, I said, wait a minute. Like, why would, what would him and the dad have gotten over that quickly after, after they just had dinner over there the prior night? I said, that doesn't make any sense. Okay. So give, give me your scenario one more All time. Right. And then, and then my boyfriend, he's telling me it's another story too. And the other story was that he was mad that the little boy was riding his bike in front of his yard. So I, it's another story. Okay, wow. you, you wanna you wanna you wanna everybody um, is definitely saying when it happened he was high. You wanna uh let let him speak into the mic. Let let him uh tell us. Like y'all can remain anonymous and just you know, just speak into the mic and tell us what you think. He's not gonna talk. Well, I can kinda <laughs> hear him in the background. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear him mumbling. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Bro, you can stay anonymous. Yeah, like I say, I mean we don't know who's who on here. Matter of fact, we're not even showing anybody on the screen. So we're just no, all we we're all just right, all so listening. It's two. It's two main stories. Like either one of these choice, either one of these stories could be true. The main story, the first story we heard, the first story that everybody got was the little kid was riding the bike across his yard. He got mad. He was off drugs and he shot a little boy in the head. And that's the story everybody went with. And the second story was, um, he was shooting at somebody, and whoever he was shooting at took the little boy as a shield. So either one of them two stories, like either one of them. It's the facts, like either one of those facts. I don't I'm know which a, one, but it's each of those two. Okay, I'm gonna say that first one actually makes more sense because of the fact that, um, or, or the one where because if somebody he was shooting at grabbed the kid and used him as a shield, that makes more sense because then it at least explains why he didn't shoot the other two kids. 
Yeah. And it, and it, would, and it would also and it would also answer it would also answer why he didn't take it out on the dad and took it out on just that one kid. But then there were like other shots fired or something. Like it seems like if there was a second perpetrator or someone else with a gun, he was shielding him from. Like where are they in the story? I, well, I, this is still kind of early on, so maybe more of that information will come out as the police have done, you know, investigations and stuff. But a cool thing about what we do here, so some some of y'all should notice, and what's up, Keyshawn? But some of y'all should know that sometimes when when uh, when we get information on our stream, that it's actually been used to help kind of, you know, I guess uh, kind of sort through the BS and the bullshit as far as. Um, as far as the speculations and things like stuff that actually makes sense, people have actually used our yeah. stories and our streams and and things that 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 we think, and they've been able to kind of come up with their own conclusions and actually solve crimes. That, like I said, yeah, that first that first scenario that, that first scenario was the one that actually makes the most sense to me. Yeah. I don't think, especially with with the fact of. If they've been neighbors for that amount of time, he just had dinner over there, they shouldn't have no beef like that. If he was riding his bike in his yard, then that should be cool because it's just like you're familiar with the family. Why would you kill a kid over that? That didn't make sense. Mm -hmm. Shooting at somebody else that grabbed the kid and used the kid as a shield? That makes sense because, again, he didn't shoot at the other kids. That makes sense. Yeah, and that would explain why it happened the next night as opposed to, like, at dinner because if it was, like, a drug deal gone wrong, it seems like it would have happened, happened right at the... dinner and why. Right, yeah. right, I agree. Keyshawn, you want to give us your thoughts? Um, I just want to say, hey, everybody, I love my, um, my family. I love UK. I love the chat. Um, still no civil rights just yet. And for this story, I'm just gonna make this real show. Negroes need to stop being stupid. And all of national stop being stupid. But Negro, why? COVID nineteen Corona Street. Why are you having dinner with the neighbor? Why are you doing any of that? If you're on drugs, buy your drugs, lock yourself up in your house and overdose. Stop abusing and killing the children. They have nowhere to go with this COVID-19. They can't go to school. They can't go to church. They can't go here. They can't go there. And they're left at home with these ignorant people who keep getting hot in the pants, on drugs, doped up, not using contraceptives, making babies, and then hashtag baby for benefits and killing them all. Get it together. Get yourself fit. The girl, you don't want, you don't need kids. If you need prostitution, drugs, whatever your choice of whatever your hookup is, fix yourself. Men folks, stop having kids. Go get yourself fit. So y'all can do drugs, drink, I don't know, uh, buy new harvest, get each other, cut each other up, kill each other, smoke each other up. So leave the children alone. They are innocent. They did not ask for anyone to lay down and conceive them. Therefore, not at all. These babies are born this week, and by next week, they're dead. And these stories will never end until the government make an example of these criminals. Mm. I heard that. They're behind straight no court, no trial, and save taxpayers' money. I'm done. <laughs> I heard I heard that loud and clear. Let's do this. Okay. Let's let's go ahead and wrap this thing up. But what I want to do is I want to give everybody a chance to give their closing thoughts. Uh Keyshawn, do you want to say any more than that? I thought that was that was pretty well said. Do you want to give your closing thoughts? That was pretty good. That was. That's pretty awesome, sis. Thank you, Eddie. Oh, so you good, Keisha? Yes, I'm good. I'm okay. good. God okay. bless you guys. I love you guys. I'm good. Love you right back, sister. I love you, sis. Okay, to the new person on there, do you want to go ahead and unmute and give your closing thoughts? Um, 
Yeah, I don't really know what to say. I said everything. Um, but yeah, a lot of people, a lot of people smoke and bombing fluid in that city. Like, that's, it's like weed. They smoke it like it's weed. And then they die from it. They keep smoking it. Um, but you know, even I, even I have a cousin that smokes that too. He's on that. And my grandmother be letting him come in and spend the night. And I'd be really nervous for her. But no, you would think that nobody, you would think that they not going to hurt you because they know you. But when they high off that, you just never know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a lot. Right, I'm done. What? Okay, Almond Brown. Uh oh, I, I didn't hear you, Keisha. What state? I'm sorry. What state is this story about? Oh, North Carolina. Yeah, okay. really. is very old. Yep, yeah, this actually is a very old drug. It is used on dead folks. So now we need to North Carolina, South Carolina, whoever Carolina. We need all the police department to know that Sean is taking over your city, and y'all need to start seeing something and saying something and turning them all in. Mm. Yep. Exactly. Alma Brown, you uh, go ahead and give your closing thoughts. Uh, can you hear me? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, Keyshawn said it. She said it, said it all. Really, there's really nothing else that needs to be said. It's crazy that he had to include that baby in whatever mess he was dealing with, whether it had to do with the dad or craziness of somebody else that got, you know, that he had to grab that child to use as a shield or whoever, you know, did that. That child was innocent. You, it's, it's just crazy to me. And these kids, the drugs is crazy. <laughs> like you said, they need to be outlawed these people that because his record shows you right there what he's all about so mm -hmm. you got to watch who you have around your children even if he's a neighbor but but still you got to watch who you mm, it's try not to get emotional because it, it it's it just is crazy to me how children are dying like this and they don't deserve it they're innocent they're not even he didn't even make it to see what, what he could have been, you know. He was probably just getting it's ready to start. Crazy, he was probably just getting ready to start kindergarten. Exactly, he hadn't even started school yet. Most likely, so it's it's crazy. Mm. I agree. That's it. I don't, I don't have no more to say because if I keep talking, I'm gonna start crying. It's all good. Look, we we appreciate the emotion, whether it be you know whether it be something that make you you know want to cry make you want to curse or make you want to whatever it is like we definitely encourage the emotion you know like i said because these stories are definitely um you know they they, they tug your heartstrings they really do addy you want to give a uh, you want to give us your closing thoughts close us out i mean everybody just like on the panel tonight just covered stuff so well i don't really know that i have tons to say but um, I don't know if y'all remember a case that we did about nine months ago, and the little baby, his name is Gannon Stout, his stepmom killed him, and he's a white boy, just like this little boy today. And I want to be really, really clear that we do not care here what this baby's skin hue is. This is a child, if y'all, if these child, like if, if one of these kids is going to cure the virus, are you going to care if they're white or black or Mexican or whatever? Like these these babies, they're there's there's something that's gone from us, and it doesn't matter what color it is. And I really get annoyed. There was somebody in that chat, this the chat nine months ago, um, that it was was saying, "I don't care about this little boy because he's white." Well, what? He's he was eleven. I I don't care what color he is. He was eleven. We've got to start. These are our babies. All these babies are all of ours, right? Like this is our future. We're losing these babies at a rapid, rapid rate. I mean, last week we had to do two nights of two cases in one. Like that's how bad this is. This is an epidemic and people need to open their eyes and people need to do better. If you see something mm -hmm. with a little kid, if you see a kid that even looks like maybe they're a little scared or Maybe they don't have shoes on, or maybe they look hungry. Like, tell someone, see something, say something. It, it isn't hard. You are grown up. 
And it doesn't matter what you are to that kid. It doesn't matter if you're a stranger. Like, it is your job as a grown-up person that's got to live a life and got to have their personality and got to have their relationships and got to have, you know, like, a life. It, the, these babies, they don't even get that. They don't even get the chance. And it's it when we do see stories where a baby has been saved, like, it, it's usually because someone saw something and said something. And we would love to do more cases where the kid is okay, but sadly, most of the time they are not. And you can really be like, it may sound like dramatic or extreme, but you can truly be that thing that stands in between that little kid and major harm or death. Like, you can. It, we've mm -hmm. seen it a trillion times. And it doesn't matter how old you are, even if maybe you're listening to this and you're not grown up yet. Like, watch. Those are your brothers and sisters. Say something like, it, we we got to do better, people. We we got to do better. We can't we can't keep losing our babies at this rate because we're gonna lose our future. Exactly. Well said. It takes a village. <laughs> I don't even want to add anything to that. Perfectly said. Thanks. Uh, we good, y'all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I do want to say thank you to the person from um, that area that called in that gave us that little bit of extra information. That does really mean a lot to us and that you, you got on the phone even though you had some nervousness about it. Like, that's the type of people we need in this world. Exactly. That was good. And, and, I, and I'll say this because, and that's why I didn't want to put, you know, really a name out there or anything like that. But I did want to encourage people and, and give people the, um, the uh, what am I trying to say? I guess I guess you could say encouragement, the I guess opportunity. the opportunity and, and just encourage people mm -hmm. to, you know, to take a step, to take a small step to be able to speak on something that that could potentially get us justice in these stories. And like I say, exactly. and I think that the more that the more that we do that and the more that we come into this realization that it is OK, you know, for for a lot of us, even even for myself, we were uh, we were bred to believe that we shouldn't say anything at all. We snitching it and we's we's not keeping it real and all of that stuff. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And a lot of us, like I say, have come from those backgrounds, including myself. So I understand it. So like I say, even if we have to remain anonymous or, or get a voice changer or whatever it is, I don't care what it is. As long as we can at least take a step in the right direction to start changing, changing the tide for these babies and to start trying to win this war for our babies lives and whatever it takes, then I'm all for it. Let's just and like y'all can email just... Jay too. Like if you're nervous to say something in here and you just do not want to do that at all, like email Jay, tell him what you know, and he can work through that with you. Yeah, I verify the information and we we go from there. Like I say, and people have actually done that before, so it, it definitely it definitely works. It definitely. And matter of fact, mm -hmm. if you even if you look at the situation with uh with Billy Simone Williams. Did 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 mm -hmm. did did it not work with people reaching out and emailing emailing us? They saw something. They said something. They reached out. They spoke. They they gave us. They gave that baby a voice. Mm. Right. We got one. They made her a real person. Like we got to hear what she liked and how she was, and it got us one. It got us one step closer to getting justice. That stepmom's behind bars. For anyone who don't know that that story, that was that's Billy Simone Williams. You can look up the replay, but that stepmother is behind bars. And we spoke to that stepmother, and we spoke to like four or five other people in the family. I mean, we got pictures. It's it works. It works, but it doesn't work unless you're able to speak up somehow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. All right. You have a powerful platform. I'm so glad that I found you guys. I was like, oh my gosh, this is so beautiful what you are doing, how you get justice for these babies. So powerful. Yeah, like I, I say, just want to thank you for that. Yeah, I'm, I'm honored, like I say, for you guys to be here. I need to schedule these a little bit earlier as a lot of people aren't night owls like some of us are like myself. Mm -hmm. But um, I, I, like I said, I'll try to do, I'll try my best to do better. They, you know, with some of the restrictions being lifted in certain areas like my uh work load has kind of picked up and i 
just been busy. They've been making me travel and just, man, it's been crazy. So, but like I said, once, once I get a chance to really sit down and, and put these stories together a little bit better to try to give you guys a comprehensive story, I will try my best to present these earlier. My goal is always between 5 p.m. and 9 p.m. If I go over that, then like then you probably know why. <laughs> and it's just because I can't get started any earlier. But like I said, I'm definitely glad that it makes a difference. And I hope that, you know, we can continue to not only speak to the people that have subscribed to this channel, but continue to grow together as a family, as the AFC, and we'll continue to advocate for these babies. Heck yeah. Just All like right. that. So yeah. it's an honor. It's an absolute honor, man. Thank you. Thank you, ladies, so much for hopping and coming through. Yeah, I appreciate it, Jay. You know, I, I like that the stories are comprehensive. I think we would all rather wait for the story a bit and it be comprehensive and complete than not, you know. Mm -hmm. I agree. Well, yep. Or like they say, touche. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I love y'all. I'll talk to you soon. Love you too. All right. <laughs> all right. Peace, Bye. peace. Bye, everybody. Good night. All right, let's go ahead and close this out here.